students. In 1970 in Cincinnati, we had 90,000 students in Cincinnati public schools. About 70% of those students were middle class and above. There were also about 500,000 people living in the city of Cincinnati. So we were at a very high point and we were thriving. By 1999, we had 45,000 students in Cincinnati public, so about half in 29 years. And um, of that 70%, it was a mirror image, 70% below the poverty line. And Again, the inextricability of the linkage between the success of schools and the success of the community, we lost 200,000 people from the city of Cincinnati. We were, as a city and as a school district, in great crisis. When we started developing community learning centers, it was in connection with the rebuilding of all of the schools as a result of a mandate from the Supreme Court of Ohio that all schools needed to be um, upgraded to be safe, warm, and dry. They were in very poor condition. And at the time, Cincinnati Public Schools passed a policy that every neighborhood, every school would have the opportunity to create their school as a community learning center. Regardless of their academic functioning, regardless of socioeconomics, the idea was really an opportunity to be able to create every school as a center of its neighborhood. 